Hi there. Now for this next part of the question then, we're asked to find the time that the stone was more than 14.7 metres above O. And the answer turns out to be two seconds. So as usual, what I'll do is I'll take you slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward just to see all the working. Now, with this kind of question, again, I would want to draw a sketch. And that sketch would look something, say, like this, where I've got the ground, and O is this point on the ground. Remember, the stone was originally projected upwards with a speed of 19.6 meters per second. And I've got the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second per second, acting downwards. And I've set a line here at a height of 14.7 meters. And so the stone is going to travel upwards. It's going to be at this height, let's say at time t1. It's going to rise beyond that height, say, and then come back down again. And it's going to be at that height again at, say, time t2. So I need to find out those two times when that height is 14.7 meters. Once I've got those two times, then all I need to do is take t1 from t2. And that will give me the time that it's above 14.7 meters. So in order to do this, again, it's a typical SUVAT based question. So if we put down our variables, S, U, V, A and T in the usual way, take the positive sense as upwards. Remember, in the sense of the initial velocity. Now, when it comes to S, the displacement, that's going to be 14.7 meters. So just pop 14.7 in there. U, the initial velocity, well, that's going to be 19.6. It's in the positive sense, so that's that. V, well, we don't know what V is going to be, so we'll just leave that out. As for A, the acceleration, well, this is going to be minus 9.8 because it's in the opposite sense to that. I quite often get people asking me, well, hold on a minute, isn't this going to change on the upward and downward journeys? No, just keep it at minus 9.8, okay? Let the mathematics sort the problem out, okay? It will do that. The time, the time when it's at 14.7 meters, well, that's what we want to find. So I just put a question mark there. So what kind of equation are we going to use that groups together S, U, A and T, one that leaves out V? Well, that equation is S equals UT plus a half AT squared. OK, so should be familiar with all those equations. Again, if not, do go on my website and check out the tutorials on these. OK, so it's just a question now of substituting our values into this equation and solving for T. So if you do make that substitution, you'll get this equation here. And you can see what we've got is a quadratic equation. We'd kind of expect a quadratic equation because we would expect two values of t. Now I can divide minus 9.8 by 2. That will give me minus 4.9 t squared there. And then I'm just going to rearrange this equation so that it equals 0. And that would give me this equation here, a typical quadratic equation, which I could go on to solve either by using the quadratic formula or if it factorizes, clearly factorize it. Well, I've done both methods for you. If you were to divide by 4.9, it will actually go into each of these values an exact number of times. If you're going to use the quadratic formula though, as I've done here, this is what it would look like. And you can then solve this or you could factorize it. It will give you t squared minus 4t plus 3 equals 0 if you divide through by 4.9 and it factorizes very nicely. 
So whether you use the quadratic formula or factorising, you'll end up with t equals 3 or t equals 1. So clearly it passes up through a height of 14.7 metres after one second, goes up, comes back down, three seconds later it's here, and so the time above 14.7 metres must be 3 take away 1, which is 2 seconds. OK, so very standard type of problem, and I hope that shows you how to do that kind of question if it caused any problems. Okay.